Okay, for my first ever live action video. I am creating a cleansing and purifying incense. I'm going to be using it in cube form. Like the little um, cones or nuggets that they made years ago. I, I haven't seen them for years. Uh, not from, not since like the 70s. Um, anyway, I'm going to be making a cleansing incense for my home. And the reason I'm doing it is every spring, this girl I know, who, she, she's a practicing Wiccan, but she doesn't necessarily follow the, the Wiccan read of Harm None. So, anyway, I know who is sending the negativity at me. And instead of going out and kicking the, well, I won't use that kind of language, but instead of going out and kicking her tush, her butt, I decide to take a preemptive strike and protect my home with cleansings and charms and stuff. If you're interested in the story of exactly why it is she's cursing me and how I know, um, go ahead and ask and I'll, um, I'll post a little video explaining, but I don't really want to go into it because it's kind of a long story. So anyway, we're going to start with, we're going to be mixing in a jar. We're going to be shaking instead of stirring. So, we're going to bond this. <laughs> it's a little bit of vinegar for cleansing. Mm, just ignore that. That's my little kitty. She's not let outside. Um, we're going to be using rainwater that was collected um, in a thunder and lightning storm on the spring equinox during the first rain shower uh, rainstorm of the season. So I, I personally feel that this is quite charged. It was collected on the Sabbath. It was collected during a thunderstorm and the first rainstorm of a year. So that's pretty cool. Then we're going to be using cinnamon for strength and purifying. So purity. using ground coriander for healing. We're going to be using sage for protection. We're going to be using nutmeg 